today we're gonna learn how to make an aquarium keychain. I found some honeycomb silicone ball from Marshall and I thought, hey, we can make some cool keychain out of it. First, the usual step, I'll start off with the base. Just adjust the mold a little so that you can have the resin feel the sides. Next is the fun part. I have this small little bucket and spade which I always use it to play with the sand. Only put a very thin layer of sand because you only just need that as the bedding. Mix it really well with the UV resin so that when you do the curing, there are no bubbles. So before curing the sand, I'm also going to be adding one tiny cute little seashell and I'm going to just adjust that end to the appropriate position. And now you can do the curing. The next part would be the plants and the flowers that you're going to add into the aquarium, which I love. So you just want to cut them about 1 cm in length and using a tweezer, that's where you will hold them in the position that you want and apply the UV curing. accordingly inside your aquarium until you are satisfied with the position. So I would need a fish for my aquarium. What you can do is you can actually use the stickers or transparent film which are easily available online. So I actually got this uh, transparent film of different types of fish and I've selected the koi fish as my main character in my aquarium. So now my aquarium is done and I'm going to cure it before adding on the rest of all the raisin for the water. Ta-da! And I'm pretty happy with the results. So far, it's actually only a very thin layer of raisin that we've added to the base which is to keep the sand, the plants, the flowers, and the fish in place. So for the water in the aquarium, I'm going to just add a tiny tint of blue because I don't have black blue. I only have the navy blue. So I'll do a tinge of blue and I'll mix it with raisin to create this super light blue effect for the rest of the aquarium. The rest of the steps are really easy, which is just a fill in the blue. But because you want to make sure that the raisin can cure what I did was I actually did it layer by layer. So I only apply a very thin layer of the raisin, flour it, and then I repeat the process until you get all the way to the top. And as I add each layer, I will adjust the plant accordingly to the position that I want them to stay within the aquarium. step because it is ultra fine and that's where I can get to a very very smooth surface for my raisin. So to prepare for the coating, 
I'm gonna drill a little hole in the middle where I can screw in the screw eye pin. And this is where it got really frustrating for me because I actually broke two screw eye pins. Yes, two, not one, two. The first one I was pretty lucky, I was able to get the, the bit out, but for the second one, it just got stuck. Which I can then attach it to a keychain. 